Hello from Chinatio.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I would like to do a first day hands-on review of this air rifle. This is the Air Arm S510 and don't forget the twin cylinder. <laughs> Looks like a shotgun. It's like this. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> and you can't break it. <laughs> anyway, so um, it looks super cool. Everyone look at this thing and they're like, wow, that looks like a shotgun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is basically the most hot sell point. It doesn't really matter how this thing shoots. Um, well, like it does, but <laughs> most people who are triggered or hyped by this gun, usually the first thing is they love the double cylinder. It's a very new, new and uh, different looking design. Usually, you see guns with a one tube or a buddy bottle or whatever bottle at the back. You know, it looks like an air bottle. This one is very cool. It uh, has the nice wood stock and it's also pre-cut to fit these two cylinders. And so, like, you can really hold the stock comfortably here, here, here. Okay, and and still be able to have the two cylinder there without really like feeling very bulky, very heavy and such. And it's, it's really cool. So um, <clears throat> before I actually start talking more about the gun's feature, let's take a look close up at the wood stock, the gun's body and so on. Okay, now this is the Air Arm S510 with a ambidextrous stock so you can use the left and right side and um, nice checkering here or not even checkering I don't know but it's some kind of textured okay, not really checkering but it's textured grip which feels very nice and look very nice yeah. <clears throat> and then right here you see this is the side lever action okay. And looks like that. So every this is actually this here is the power adjustment wheel. You can turn it this way, this way, but it's kind of stiff um, to adjust or decrease the power. And then a very nice and long shrouded barrel with you know here this cap you can actually turn and unscrew as you can see right here. Okay, so you can actually see whatever is, is inside. Okay, now here the the lower part. Or the, or the uh, under part of the the under of the stock you can see the gauge just like the uh, S410 gauge same kind of gauge there okay the trigger is the same as the S410 series basically everyone complains about the trigger safety but I don't I feel okay okay now here is a nice rubber pad just like all the air arms now let's take a, take a look at the other side this rifle is kind of heavy. Just holding it to show you around, it's already kind of making my arm sore. So, yeah, it, it's not a light carbine, really. Not a light gun, okay? It feels completely like a full-size rifle. And, of course, the dovetail rail. Also, the magazines. Uh, this is in .22 caliber. And also, the laser-engraved air arm logo made in England. Um, here's the adjustment where you can see plus and minus. So basically, you see where it points and uh, it will give you more or less power. And basically, it's very, very much alike with the S410 series. Um, except the double barrel, of course, as you can see right here, very sexy. And the double barrel are actually secured by a um, barrel band or whatever cylinder band, whatever you call that, right here. So it holds the barrel and the two cylinder together and the capped right here. Okay, one side is the fill adapter, which is the same as all the air arm rifles right here. Okay, the same. You can use the same adapter, put it in. Okay, the other side, the caps are interchangeable. The other side, you see, it's actually basically nothing but a little whatever blocking, I don't know, solid end you call that. Okay, so basically you put this back on and there you go. So if you're new to air arms rifles, you may wonder how do you feel the gun? Well that is how. Let me get you this. Okay. So it comes with a an adapter like this. It's a key adapter kind of thing. So basically you just put this over here, lock it in place and uh, 
here is the quick disconnect or froster fitting and you plug your hose there. So this thing will lock itself in place when you turn it to the proper angle. So that's how you fill the gun. You can fill the gun with a compressor, hand pump, or a scuba tank, SDBA tank, or whatever ninja fill station tank. It works. And um, today I filled that up with my 19 cubic inch uh, ninja fill station tank. Took about like three seconds, and it pumped the pumped the gun back from um, 140 psi up to 200 or 190 psi or so. So it's very fast. And, well, as you can see, you got two cylinders, so it should give you more shots per fill as well. Um, with the Air Arm S400 or S500 normal, normal series, you get only one tube. This one, you get two, so pretty much a lot of shots there. Okay, so what's the difference between a... Um, and Air Arm S510 and the S410. The basic thing is some people will say, oh, you get a magazine with a gray cover. One is yellow. Oh, well, this one that I got today is actually a yellow cover. Okay, let me just try to cock it. Yeah, and now you can take it out. Okay, so this is the yellow cover that I got today. So it doesn't matter. You can put this into a S410 if you like. Yeah, let me just get my S410 over. Okay. So this is the magazine, okay? S410. Super light carbine. I'm going to take this out. Lock the uh, trigger first. Okay, I'm going to cock the gun. Pull out the magazine. Maybe you can actually see it. It's actually the same thing. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. So this is the S510 one. I'm going to put this one into this gun. And you can see it works. Okay. Same thing. It works. Okay. It snaps in place perfectly. You can really... Okay. So, yeah. Basically, it works. So, S510, S410, they share the same magazine. You can, you can actually just... Uh, use one or the other it's fine and so that's actually a good thing you see the s410 this one only one tube that one has two tubes and one good thing is um the s410 you might you might already invest on it and you have a lot of magazines uh preloaded whatever you can actually bring the s510 with you when you're going hunting or target shooting whatever and you have your spare magazines there you can share it with this gun which is extremely awesome. You don't need to buy a new magazine for this new gun, okay? To cock the uh, side lever action handle is very smooth. You don't even feel a thing, just pull it back. Extremely easy. And the magazine just snapped in place. And then now the other side, okay, you just put it back like that and you're ready to go. There's a trigger safety, which a lot of people hate. You have to push this uh, safety in like that to lock and then the other side uh, push it back out to the left side to fire so right now the gun is uh, supposed to be able to fire let me do a dry fire and let you hear how quiet the, this gun is it's extremely quiet you cannot believe it okay there is air inside it feels like flying a I don't know like it sort of feels like dry firing a um, PCB gun without air or a very low air. It's very quiet because of the shrouded barrel. And so basically um, I would say this is extremely, extremely quiet and um, extremely, extremely accurate as well, of course. So as you see right here, this says the uh, S510 TC rifle FAC FAC. Okay. This is actually the um, <clears throat> FAC version. So you will uh, see this gun listed in UK's website as a firearm because it shoots over 12 uh, foot pounds, I suppose. But when I uh, got it from my vendor, they actually um, detuned the gun to uh, shoot under 500 FPS so that it will be legal for the Canadian market. And that is a good thing because of that detune, you get more shots as well. <laughs> So you get two cylinders, which is already more shot per fill. Now you detune it a little bit, you get even more shot per fill. 
<laughs> well, if we're shooting targets and stuff, not using it for hunting, it's totally fine. Uh, you don't need a lot of power for punching paper anyway. And with this kind of gun, we're shooting for precision. Like, trying to aim at the paper bullseyes and stuff. So, basically, it's more than enough that you need anyway for most of the, of the case. If you actually do need a hotter gun, well, we have hotter guns, or you can up-tune it, whatever. Okay, so basically that's it for the review th uh, today, and I would like to say the Air Arm S510 TC twin cylinder is extremely awesome. Um, not only that, it gives you the full uh, feeling or vibe of the Air Arm Classics rifle with the nice stock um, and all the nice finish here, but also it looks very tactical like that with the shotgun looking and also not forget that it gives you a lot of lot more weight to it and it feels very beefy so when you hold the gun that weight actually helps you to stabilize your shot while you're just going like that and and aiming it's like it really does help a lot but for hunters you may not like the weight so much so um it depends you know for for some shooters especially ladies i would say that they may be they might be more happy with a super light carbine like this one. Um, S410 super light carbine, this one, is actually louder. Okay, let me dry fire. I just cocked this, so might as well shoot one shot. See, it's louder. Um, not super loud, of course you can shoot that indoor, but it's louder and um, it's actually much, much, much lighter, especially when you hold it with one hand, you really do feel the big difference. And so the extra weight, you can put it on the scope to get a beefier scope on it and uh, it, it's very nice. So this one, um, <clears throat> I'll also forget that the cylinder tube and the uh, barrel, they have very nice, rich, deep, rich bluing. Um, the TC version, the S510 TC, it's more like a matte black, I don't know, painted version, spray paint version, I don't know. But it, it's not the kind of deep bluing. Um, I don't mind that personally, it looks more like a shotgun right now, like that. But with the deep bluing, it actually does look more classy. So I would say like it depends on you, right? <laughs> Let's see what you like. But for a lot of shooters, you may like the um, S410 or Super Light Carbine kind of size more. Um, if both rifles are the same power, uh, same kind of accuracy, you know, you just want to have a different variation, I would say people would like the uh, Super Light Carbine kind of size much more. Um, besides, that one looks actually very badass. So I would say that one is very cool. But it's not a very much like uh, everyone would like one of those kind of gun, you know. Like in a group of friends, maybe a few of them have it and then people are hype about it. But it's not like a gun that everyone picks up and they were like, oh my, I want one of these. You know, the S410 uh, Super Light Carbine is one of those guns where everyone can pick it up. Um, even ladies and then they will be like, it's so cool. I like it, you know, this is actually more friendly for everyone to play with, especially the bolt action, I really do like the bolt, uh, side lever, they are better for hunters or stuff like that, you know, some, some people prefer that, um, but, you know, for me, I don't really mind this one, but the bolt is more cool, more cool than this one, actually, I do like that kind of action more, uh, this one, you don't have to, you see, your eyes can stay on it while you cock. The other one, you might have to shift your eyes a little bit in order to uh, cock the bolt. So, yeah, give and take, you know, guys. Uh, the the S510 TC is actually very cool, but not a gun for everyone. Maybe some people really like it. Some people may very not like it. So, it depends on you. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!